Hey, welcome back. We are working in Module 2, and at this point we're all the way down to Section 3. I want to take a moment and just go over a little feature called My Company. We just completed the actual Easy Step interview where we were able to put in the company name, company address, those types of things. There will be times when you need to change that information, and I'd like to show you where to go to actually do that. This is what we call your home screen in QuickBooks. If you happen to have just completed the Easy Step interview, you might have a pop-up window here that will allow you to put in your customers, your products, it might allow you to put in your bank account information. We're going to do all that a little bit later, but you'll notice in the bottom right of that window is a little button that says Start Working. And if you want to click on that, it will go away, and then you can head on up to Company on the menu here. I'm going to click on this option that says My Company, and you'll notice that this is where your address, your phone number, your fax, email, website, all that lives. If you want to change any of this, go ahead and head up to the Edit button, which looks like a little pencil here, and then you'll be able to type in any of these fields. Something that might be very helpful to do is actually take this phone number right here and copy it and put it up in this address line. And the reason for that is because when you go ahead and send out forms, like an invoice, it's going to pull this address block, but it won't pull the phone number because it considers that a separate field. Now you can go in and customize that template and actually add it, but let's add it now so we don't have to worry about that later. I'm just going to right click and copy this phone number, and what I'll do is come up in the address block, come down a line, and then I'll just paste in the phone number that way. And of course I could add the fax, email, and website here too. When I click OK, it's going to say that I didn't update the legal address. What it's talking about is the legal address is over here. And QuickBooks puts in the same thing you see here in the legal information option here. If you want it to upgrade that, you can go ahead and say yes or no. And then you can see that it will save the information that you just put in there. While I'm here, let me tell you a few other things about this particular window. Down here, these are all some services that Intuit can provide, and if you ever wanted to look at some of these, for example, you might be interested in their merchant services account, you might want to order checks from Intuit, and remember you don't have to order them from Intuit, you can order them anywhere you like. There's also a few other things here you may be interested in. Over on the right as well, you're going to see your product information. And if you haven't activated your account, go ahead and do that now because what will happen is if you don't activate it within a certain amount of time, then it'll actually lock you out and you'll have to call into it. So make sure you activate your account. That's all you need to know about that My Company option there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the X and close out of it, and that'll put me back on my home screen. That's it for the My Company overview. Let's head on over to the next video and talk about identifying the components of the QuickBooks environment. Hey everyone, Ava here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Click over there to get a free two hour course on learning the essentials of QuickBooks 2019. And click over there to see the complete set of videos in this playlist. We'll see you next week with additional videos.